Hey, how's it going? So, I am not an arts and crafts type of person, even though I have this freaking dirty ass apron on. But today, we're gonna be doing some arts and crafts. Yay! But of course, uh, we're not just gonna be doing standard arts and crafts. We're gonna be doing one that even me, someone who has zero experience or knowledge or interest in arts and crafts, I got my hands on this. What is it, you might ask? You've probably seen a video on this before, but this is Shin Kokushoku Muso Black. This is the blackest paint in the world. Pretty cool. What makes it the blackest paint in the world? Let's see. We developed Muso Black Paint. It is a water-based acrylic paint that can absorb up to 99.4% of visible light, making it the world's blackest paint. Achieving an ultra-black coating has never been easier. So I have actually seen this paint before in a lot of videos, but I don't think I've ever seen it in person. So we're going to be painting a bunch of uh, anime figures that I have lying around to see just how black the blackest paint in the world actually is. So I have uh, a, a little a little set right here of, uh, oh look, there we go. We have some normal black paint here, I guess. So we can compare it to uh, the world's blackest paint. And I've got some paint brushes here. This is Aki's set, which I'm definitely going to ruin. So sorry, Aki. But let's let's paint something just to just to get a feel for uh, how black this Musso black paint actually is. Bring forth the first item. <laughs> oh, just is a Poke Bell. Or more specifically, this is a dive ball. Uh, one of one of my least favorite balls. S sorry, Pokemon enthusiasts. Although to be fair, I don't think there's a single Pokemon enthusiast who's like, my favorite Poke Ball is the dive ball. What's your favorite Poke Ball? Probably the Great Ball. That's a no. What's the black and yellow one? Is that the Master Ball? That's Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is the coolest. Yeah, Ultra Ball is the coolest one for sure. I also like the Premier Ball, which is like the the fully white. The white ball. one with like the red accent. Yeah, with the red on. The yeah, thing. that's pretty sick. Yeah, that one's dope. But basically, I'm gonna be uh, ruining this dive ball just to give you guys a glimpse into what this looks like. All right, let's open this up. I'm really scared to uh, spill any of this because I don't know how potent this thing actually is. Well, uh. You can't see anything in there, which is, I guess, understandable. <laughs> it just looks like the void <laughs> in here. There you go. That's the blackest paint in the world. It looks like normal black paint, though, just from this. But let's start painting this dive ball, and we'll see uh, how black we're talking. It might be like when it dries. It yeah. It looks like so matte. I think so. I think so. We're going to have to let it dry a little bit. So you know what I'll do? I'll paint half, the just the top half of the dive ball with this Musso Black and uh, we'll see just how black this thing is. I haven't done painting in a long time so this is kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do all you arts and crafts people have this much fun <laughs> at all times? I've always sucked at painting because it's like unlike uh, Photoshop or anything like that, any like digital stuff, you can't fucking control Z that shit. <laughs> like once you fucked up, like I have here for example, I just got it a little bit on that thing. I yeah. can't control you can't control Z in real life. You've ruined it. God damn it. Get a get a thick layer of it. Cover up all the blue. Cover all nine thousand taste buds. It's yeah. pretty satisfying to watch. Yeah. Just someone paint. It's like ASMR. It's like Bob Ross if he was emo. <laughs> <laughs> that seems pretty black. I must say. So I'm just gonna let this sit here and dry. So, so far you can see like a little shine on it uh, because it's still wet. So I think I have to just kind of let it sit there and dry. In the meantime, uh, let's do another Pokemon themed one just because I feel like it. Uh, uh, it's Vaporeon. Did you know? <laughs> That Vaporeon is the- So I'm gonna paint this Vaporeon black uh, because I've always wanted to do a who's that Pokemon in real life. <laughs> good, oh my god. Good vibe Vaporeon. Oh, it's like tripping down her face. I don't know. Yeah, uh, boy. Also, this is Aki's Vaporeon, by the way. Um, I just stole this. So, sorry, Aki. But don't worry, you're gonna have yourself- Custom. A custom ultra black- Vaporeon. A custom Joey Bessinger exclusive. Exactly. This is this is only one in the world right here. <laughs> a one of one. A one of one Musso Black Vaporeon. That's pretty sick. That sounds pretty badass. Yeah, actually. the Musso Black Vaporeon. <laughs> sounds yeah. like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. 
I summon Muso Black Vaporeon! What's your favorite evolution? Mine is Vaporeon, because did you know? I would probably say it's a tie between Umbreon and Leafeon. Mm. I, I really like Umbreon and Leafeon. I, yeah. don't, I don't know why, but I really, really like Umbreon and Leafeon. What's the ice? Is it Iceon? Is that what it's called? Frostion? <laughs> Iceon! I don't know what it is. Do you mean Glaceon? Yeah, whatever. Ice. Iceon! <laughs> Do we all agree that Flareon's the worst? Oh, Flareon Sims are going to come after you for that one, dude. There's such a thing as Flareon Sims? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus Amen. Christ, this looks like a nightmare, dude. All right, get the body. <laughs> this is like what happens if uh, Vaporeon like turns to the dark side. <laughs> And just, you know, becomes a fucking heartless or whatever the hell they're called. Is that a Kingdom Hearts reference? Yeah. Clearly, I've played Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> you know, what What? What are they called? Fucking soulless? Iceons? Iceon. Soulless Iceon. <laughs> Again, sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Soulless Iceon? <laughs> I summon Soulless Iceon! In defense mode! <laughs> Dude, none of the paint stayed on the ears. Oh yeah, it seems to. Have just it's like, all just like dripping off. Yeah, it's like waterproof. You I know, think so. Way. Well, this is Vaporeon. Oh wow! <sighs> Damn it! I should have known. Yeah. It's like I will not be tainted by the darkness. <laughs> all right, fine. I guess that's it for the Vaporeon then. We will uh, leave that. Well, while we are waiting for that to dry, we're gonna do one final thing. Which, uh, if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, then you'll know exactly what we're doing. Bring it over here. <laughs> This is a very expensive anime figure that is also probably going to get me demonetized if I show it too much. This is from Dramatical Murder. This is Alba from Dramatical Murder. And if you've never heard of Dramatical Murder, you're probably not a Fujoshi, so don't worry about it. But Aki said that uh, I can paint this figure with Muso Black. I mean, he's already wearing a lot of black anyway. I mean, uh, you know, uh, the little black that the the, the little the little, fa the little fabric wearing. that he is wearing. This is a very expensive figure today. Uh, it roughly, as what I've seen on like eBay and stuff, it can set you close to a thousand dollars. So Aki said, "I can paint this in the blackest paint in the world." Seems if you if you know anything about dramatical murder, I would say that painting it with Muso black is pretty uh, thematically accurate considering that the show can get very very dark especially the game the game can just straight up just get messed up at a lot of times so uh i'm, I'm doing i'm doing this figure a favor by painting it uh completely black i'm also going to be making this uh, safe for youtube because apparently with this figure you can actually take his pants off and uh oh you can actually see oh under God. here uh straight up his cock and balls so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be painting that black. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll just show it to Luke so that he can censor it, but like, you can you can straight up oh just, my like, Lord. see his asshole oh. and cock and balls and everything. Oh my god! Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. Jesus! So. Alright, so first I'm going to have to unbind him <laughs> from his shackles. Don't worry, Alba, I'll, I'll, I'll free I have to you. hide this. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, how's, uh, how's Vaporeon? Yeah, check, check out, check, check on Vaporeon before anything. She's not looking too good. No, uh, don't worry. She'll oh be, my lord! She'll be fine. That's right in my face, Joy. Sorry. Let's paint this boy in Muso Black. Goodbye, nipples. Sorry, I'm gonna have to censor. This is like the most ultimate like censoring on YouTube. If this works and this video doesn't end up being demonetized. There you go, YouTubers, get yourself a thing of Muso Black. He looks like he enjoys it. Yeah? Well... You enjoying it, Alba? You like it? You like that, you little slut? <laughs> oh no! Oh no, oh lord. Oh, he likes that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Alba. Mm, delish. Jeez. Why are these figure makers so good at getting in, like, the small little crevices and details of the hair? It makes it really hard to paint. <laughs> yeah. Get into the cracks. <laughs> this is such a bad shot. I hit it. You like that, you little bitch? <laughs> oh, no. no, he loves it. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> no. I think I'll leave his face for last. So that you're we... a psychotic person. Yeah. If I was a wolf, I'd be the kind of wolf that would uh, eat their prey 
ass first <laughs> so that their last glimpses of the outside world can be seen before I chomp down on their head. <laughs> I'm gonna get into his crotch right here. There we go. Okay, sec. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> what do you mean? I feel like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I feel like I should leave this just to you and Alba. Okay, hold on. I think I need to take this off. Of course you do. Don't worry. I've already I've already painted it, so uh, you can't see it. It's fine. It's fine, YouTube. You know what's funny about what I'm doing right now? I elected to do this. <laughs> I'm not even doing it as like a dare or anything. I wanted to make this video. <laughs> it's, it's funny how YouTube works. <laughs> oh, look at that. Dude, did you just come back from an MCR concert? <laughs> Because those are some fucking emo toes right there. <laughs> is that is that how you know someone's went to an MCR yeah. concert? Nothing more emo than black toenails. I mean, think about it. Like, like, why would you need to paint your toenails black? No one's gonna look at them. Speak for yourself. Let's have a look at these toes. <laughs> <laughs> not, for, not for free, you're not. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of surface area. All right, I'm getting to his ass. A lot of cracks. Yeah, well, I mean, there's one big crack I'm seeing right there, but I mean, I can't quite get to it because uh, let me just let me just get underneath. Let me, let me just fucking. Whoop. It looks actually kind of sick. Like if you if you look at like the full body, yeah, from like my angle, like he was already you know looking like a sexy boy, <laughs> and now he's just gonna look even sexier, like <laughs> just like before. <laughs> just like Vaporeon, look at it. Let's get his hands. Oh, sorry for pouring. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Face me, please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like a makeup artist, dude. Is this how makeup artists feel? Yeah. This is exactly how makeup artists feel. Yeah. Let's have a wee face reveal. Face reveal. Oh. How are we looking? Um. I, I can't tell if he enjoys it or not. But he probably loves it. Oh, I think he loves it. All right, Alba. Any last words before I? You, before you won't be able to see anything. Jessica, I said mid. Oh my god, I agree. All right, let's see you later. <laughs> oh, no. Let's get that drippy, drippy. Right in the eyes. Right in the fucking eyes. All right, well, I think we're done for the time being, uh, but what we'll do is we'll let this sit here and dry for a little bit uh, because supposedly you need to let it dry for the full uh, effect of the Musso Black to work. Uh, I'll do an extra coat if need be, and then I'll show you guys the result. All right, time to wait. So it's been uh, about a half a day. I actually did a second coating on it because I wanted to be like properly Musso black and uh here is the end result it's pretty goddamn black <laughs> that actually looks so cool so here's the pokeball first of all that is insanely black like we have a light shining on this right now and it looks just it, it looks like a shadow that's that's crazy because like you know look this is like the standard black all right like this is this would be like regular black paint you put it next to that like the shine on this black is so much more than this black. There is absolutely zero shine on this at all. Like in the shadow and in the light, it looks pretty much the same. And then we have uh, Vaporeon right here who has been consumed by the blackness. That, <laughs> that looks actually insane. See, I'm glad I did a second coating on this because the first coating, it kind of spread a little bit as you can see on the body here. So it looks pretty cool. So if you plan to use Musso Black to paint, you know, your figures or you, maybe your gun plows and stuff like that, I would recommend two coats of it. And of course, here is the $1,000 Alba figure, completely black. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's just me, but that looks really freaking cool. It, it, it has like a matte black finish to it and it looks sick as hell. That looks so freaking cool. Well, let me put it with the actual, like, thing here. Ah. Not gonna lie, bro. They should start making, like, Musso Black figures. I think it looks really freaking cool. Suffice to say, I've made the $1,000 Alba figure perhaps slightly better. It, it looks really freaking cool. I really hope how black this paint is is really showing on video because I feel like in person this thing is so much darker 
than whatever this camera is able to pick up. Very, very cool. But yeah, Musso Black, you weren't joking when you said that you are the blackest paint in the world. And I think there is an actual pretty useful uh, use into using a black paint like this. You can make some really, really cool art with it, I feel. And I feel, uh, I think uh, Aki was saying earlier, using this for like calligraphy, for example, to do like, you know, traditional Japanese calligraphy would be really sick because the black just pops out so much. I mean, look here, I'll, I'll use this as an example as well, right? This is the standard black paint, what is the uh, conventionally used as like black paint. As you can see, there's still a little bit of like shine on it if you can kind of see the light reflecting off of it. And then here is the Musso black paint that's spilled onto the board. It is not even close. It makes the black paint look gray, which is crazy to me. Like if I had a calligraphy piece that was like this clearly black, it would just make it that much more professional looking. But there you go guys, that was me just playing around with some Musso Black. Honestly, this thing didn't even cost me a whole lot either. I got it from Amazon for like, you know, I think it was like 30 bucks or something for 100 milliliters of Musso Black paint. So if you're curious and you know, especially if you're in like the arts and crafts world, then I definitely do recommend you kind of check out, play around with it. Maybe don't paint a $1,000 anime figure with it, obviously, but you know, play around with it in your paintings. I think it would look really dope. But yeah guys, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to smack my face right here to subscribe to the channel. Let's keep making big channel number go bigger. And over here next to my head, a couple more videos you can check out if you enjoyed this one. And links to all my social media, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok, and my Patreon if you'd like to support me directly, all down in the description below. I'm sorry, Alba, that I made you out like this, but don't worry, you look way cooler than you were before. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.